Today we are working on my very first project. It is a little art project called Self-Portrait. Um, what I'm going to do today is be working from a photograph that a friend of mine took of me and then take that photograph and add some multimedia materials in order to build the canvas out three-dimensionally and to create texture uh, with the form. The picture that I'm working from today is a picture of me. I'm going to bring this in so you can kind of see it. <laughs> Anyhow, um, so we're going to be working with some uh, furry leopard type of texture, uh, maybe a little bit of sequence. I've got some interesting thing here we might use for uh, the couch area. And um, let's get started. So uh, now we're in the painting studio, uh, which is also my tiny New York apartment, but same difference. Um, what I've done is I've taken the canvas, uh, applied a layer of gesso from head to toe, and then loosely sketched in um, where the figure goes on the canvas. So what we have to do next is find some clothes to put on the girl. Now the best part about being a girl is all the things that you have left in your closet you may not wear anymore, but come on, we're going to go see. My messy room. See all the bag of tricks and things we have in here. Ha ha ha! I have found it! It's a cute little leopard uh, kind of thingy, which actually one time I did used to wear. Um, thank God I don't anymore, but I think it might look nice on the painting. So we're going to start with this. And before we go anywhere, it needs a little styling for me, too. Alright, I got my headband on. We got the piece for the painting. Let's go. Here, let me show you what we're going to be working on. What I'm thinking is that somehow in here, peeking out of her little coat, that this will hang. So what we have to do is figure out how to cut this and tailor it to fit the painting. Uh, so we're back, and uh, now you're looking at my workstation here, which is also my kitchen island dining room slash eating area but today it is the art studio so um, what I have is the pattern that we took from the painting and I'm just gonna cut it out and then add the uh, material Whenever you decide to start gluing, that you take your hair and you pull it back or you get glue in it. Well, I do anyway, so we're just going to have to put it up real quick. You know that the life what you do when you do that. From the floor to the bed to the rooftop. I'll work you like a nine to five to get the five alive. It's another time we do that. Do that. Do it, she turn and this. What we're going to work on next is the jacket part of um, the figure and what we're going to be using is white fur. So uh, we got the first part of the jacket going on here and I actually pulled the jacket out of the closet and thought that I might model it for you. Oh, As you can see the fur goes down here and kind of comes up on the side which is why this pose is kind of what we're building. So what we want to make sure is when we're cutting this the fur is obviously going in a downward pattern. What I'm going to be doing is drawing the different sections and the direction that the fur will be going. painting as you can see here and what I'm doing is developing what's called an underpainting first dropping in the shadows and the tones that you would find the dark areas of the painting so we're using dark browns blues purples to kind of develop the shadows and then once the shadows are laid down you're gonna see me drop in some skin color washes on top of that and it's all just done with really light washes building up color layer after layer to create a realistic skin pigmentation Let's paint. Pop up Mikhaila spin So we're at the final step of this painting process, and that's just the details. It's my favorite part because we're almost done. And uh, I'm just gonna kind of walk you through what we've done here. 
First uh, was the painting of the stripes on the background. I used to duct tape. I just taped the it right up here onto the leather, painted the stripes, and then pulled the tape off. Uh, in addition, I picked out these beautiful feathers. We've used peacocks and regular feathers with hot glue just adhered that, as well as feathers for the eyelashes and the jewels that you're seeing here. I just took a necklace, chopped it to the right length. There's a piece of it right here, and I'll be gluing that to her ear for the other ear. Uh, in addition, we've used a lace piece for the uh, pantyhose and the garter series. And that's got a little metal clip and a real strap to kind of bring the 3D effect on there, as well as a buckle that I've added to the front of the shoe. Uh, so that's it. Here she is. She's almost finished, and we're done with our first project, Self Portrait. I hope that you've enjoyed Art with Avalon. And if you have any requests for future episodes, please let us know. Um, I will be covering some more aspects of painting and how to put these things together. Thanks for joining us, and have a great day.